All of this and the fact that this is just the latest thing, the fact that 800 babies, some of them, uh, their crimes are only having disabilities or, and as much as the state wants to say that, you know, we can't apportion blame, blame, that this was a reflection of Irish society at the time, the fact is that these were, these were state-run and church-run co-ops, then it's more and more every day grabbing the public's attention more and more and, you know, it's something that can't be ignored and it's the reason I made that sign and I think it sums it up. Justice will not be served until those who are unaffected are as outraged as those who are. And that really is because whether you were in this home, my mother was in a, a mother child's home. She wasn't allowed to hold my sister for six months. Another woman breastfed, breastfed her. She was kept in the cot with a padlock on it. And, and people can't see this, people don't, I, I don't think people want to see this, you know, because I, I, I honestly feel that we live in a society of victimisation, you know, people are much more comfortable being victimised than they are actually standing up. Well, um, a few reasons really, one of them is that I'm, an, I'm actually adopted, um, I was adopted in the late 80s, um, and just, like, I've always known about, you know, stories like the Magdalene Sisters and all that. But when this came out, it just struck a chord with me because I'm a new mother now. And my son is 15 months old. Um, so I suppose um, I'm more empathetic towards the mothers who lost their, their children and the heartache. I just can't really imagine. And also that, um, you know, if I, was, if I had him maybe not so long ago, that would have been my fate and we would have been separated and who knows what else. It's just kind of horrible to think about. So. We came here basically to highlight the fact of uh, the abuse of children um, and how wrong it is. It doesn't matter if it's from the Catholic Church or in the home or from sexual predators, the, the abuse of children is, is wrong. And uh, there's nothing worse than the stealing of innocence from children. So everybody has the right to know who their parents are and where they come from. So hopefully this will send a message out to, uh, to the people and to the people in the doll out there that they can make a change. So what happened was I... Um, I just I got very upset by what I was reading in the media so I decided to start this I just wanted to organise a march to the dial to show my outrage basically tough so she set up the Facebook page and it just gained traction very quickly because so many people are interested in the story and feel strongly about it I thought it went very well actually you know and the crowd was it was actually quite emotional I felt at the end you know it really was beautiful at the end everybody that was here had a story to tell or you know felt very strongly it was a very emotional evening I thought you know some of the some of the speeches were very powerful I actually got quite emotional myself at certain stages even when my, my, my own mother was up reciting a poem and she spoke really well and it was a beautiful poem and you can see by the stuff that's been left there you know it really people talk about the recession and talk about money and talk about the water charges people feel very strongly about that but when you talk about children I think that really hits a raw nerve at the most fundamental level with everybody